Welcome everybody to Global Startup News that we run weekly for you. And uh, we would like to discuss the news that are most important and most interesting in our opinion to you, global founders. Well, uh, this is a, the sixth podcast. And uh, before we continue, pl please press the like button, subscribe to the channel. It's important, press the bell button. And of course, if you have any suggestions or recommendations or want to discuss today's topic, just go in the comments and keep discussing. We are always welcoming the discussion and ready to help if, if you need any help from us. Well, I have three hot topics for this week. And one is ex alumni of YC has been arrested this week. The other YC alumni is working on cutting edge technology uh, right now, but he had to leave the United States. And third is uh, in great uh, news in Web 3.0 and uh, seems like this industry is uh, booming and booming and so much more to come in future. So let's start with the first topic about this FBI uh, case. And uh, what happened in there is that um, ex-alumni Ilya Lichtenstein and uh, his wife were um, arrested in New York City this week. Uh, Ilya had a startup in 2011 uh, at YC, uh, and so they were invested by Mark Cuban and other well-known investors. Um, and Heather Morgan was uh, quite known in social media, and so she had some good following for her. An interesting thing is that uh, um, they were quite normal couple, uh, uh, as many in Silicon Valley uh, that uh, achieved some success. And uh, uh, they were, Ilya was investing in some startups uh, together with well-known funds. At the same time, um, Heather was developing herself as an entrepreneur doing different projects. And uh, what happened uh, uh, in 2016 is that there was a hack of BitPhoenix and somebody stole, has stolen 71 million worth of Bitcoin, which is 120,000 coins. And uh, right now, uh, uh, according to this hack uh, and, uh, and according to market prices, uh, this Bitcoin worth of $4.5 billion. So FBI was tracking the wallets and uh, managed to decrypt the wallets of Ilya and Heather. And so they found a trace of a connection to 2000 um, different wallets where the money was transferred transfer between. And so all, most of them were connected to that uh, specific uh, uh, um, ha hacker attack case. Well, uh, now they are uh, uh, arrested and uh, the trial to be started. Uh, they'll see the results. What's important is that uh, the, um, they might have stolen a lot of money. If they did, of course, we don't know yet. It's not yet uh, proven. Uh, it's, it makes a huge impact on the tech industry and um, significant impact on uh, blockchain industry, which is trying to make its way through. And so this kind of fraud is always uh, make a huge strong hit on uh, uh, the industry, all of us who is uh, investing in crypto. And uh, at the same time, uh, this person was just another entrepreneur, technology entrepreneur who is doing um, some innovation in the world. And now because of this uh, negative case, uh, it may give some negative impression on other entrepreneurs and make some, they might look suspicious to FBI. That's not good in my opinion. Um, We'll see how it goes, uh, and uh, hopefully the money will go to the owners, uh, and so uh, they will become rich because that time it was 71 million, now it's 4.5 million, and they retrieved 3.6 billion, still a lot of money, and uh, um, those who lost money might be super uh, surprised. The other topic uh, I have is uh, about uh, another alumni of uh, Y Combinator, uh, he, M Mikhail Kokoric, he uh, used to have uh, a company called Momentus, but he had to drop this company and give away all his uh, ownership to U.S. Uh, U.S. born uh, um, team 
uh, and the founding team. So he, he as an inventor and founder couldn't own his own company because of the specific uh, restrictions of US law. And he was as a Russian uh, uh, immigrant, he couldn't get a green card and he wasn't approved just because of the projects he is working. He couldn't be, um, he had issues with the green card, but because he doesn't have a green card, he couldn't continue. Uh, on his project and he gave away the ownership to continue do, building something else. He's got tremendous support of US investors and he moved to Switzerland to build his own company Destinus that is uh, working on uh, uh, super fast uh, jets, uh, three times uh, the speed of uh, sound, I think. So uh, he dreams to build this jet to get to any, uh, from A to B in a very short period of time. And um, he's trying to take into account of uh, uh, previous cases like Concord and make it so much better. So it would be a convenient transportation for uh, the next generation of uh, us. And uh, the good news is that uh, it's uh, uh, getting uh, more and more um, traction in their project. And now they got $29 million in seed funding. And so they now can start working on the prototype and some uh, future uh, preparation for the first tests. Of course, uh, still need to be done a lot of development, so much more funding. But what I know about this founder uh, is that he has so much support from uh, his peers. He has amazing team. Uh, he definitely be that guy who can build such a company. And uh, he's backed by many famous uh, funds just because they believe in him. He, he has done amazing job to uh, Momentus and those investors just want to be with him if he's in Switzerland, anywhere else, just because he can change the world. And uh, this makes it amazing case because uh, uh, if you are the founder who's passionate about what you're building on and you keep investing in it and uh, you th uh, think that the uh, United States is the only place where you can build a great product, so he's proving otherwise. He actually left the United States, he gave up on getting a uh, green card and uh, he's now building a great company in Switzerland. Well. Uh, I have no doubt he will succeed. It, way, it is a very complex uh, project. It's uh, the one that will take years to get to the prototype and to then test it and then get to a commercial flight. It will be many years from now, but he's so ambitious and uh, uh, he is so much committed to get the result every year. So we still are gonna see him this year in the news, next year in the news because he is so rapidly developing this project. And I'm uh, really uh, wishing him so much success because these kind of founders, they are the ones who are changing the world and making, us a better, uh, making it a better place. Another thing is important uh, and the great news I wanna share with you is uh, the recent uh, evaluation of one of the crypto startups that started five years ago, Al Alchemy. And now after a recent Series C, uh, where they raised uh, another $250 million, they got a valuation of $10.2 billion. So just imagine in this number, like startup that was uh, uh, started in one of the uh, dorms or apartments in, some, uh, in the Bay Area, now uh, worth so much money and uh, uh, they are backed like, with top tier VCs in Silicon Valley. Um, uh, the interesting uh, thing is that uh, uh, the development of this startup, the speed of the development, well, they, when they raised uh, uh, Series C, they were, oh, they, when they raised Series C at 250, uh, they, they were $3.5 billion. And now they, when they managed to raise to $5.5 million and so they worth, uh, oh, uh, so, and, and now at recent uh, uh, series, uh, they now worth $10 billion. And so it just took a couple of years to get the, to this number. And uh, it makes maybe the most valuable uh, uh, Web 3.0 startup in history right now. 
And uh, let's see what it will where it will take us because uh, Web 3.0 is a hot topic everywhere. But an inter interesting thing is that um, it's, it includes VR, it includes uh, blockchain, right? And uh, many other things of Web 3. And the VR was a uh, kind of disappointment for the venture capital world because it didn't uh, get uh, it, uh, enough application and wasn't accepted by the society yet. But uh, merging it with, uh, with blockchain and uh, Web 3.0 technologies uh, all together, it make actually uh, uh, the, it might become a missing puzzle of each one of these. And uh, uh, it uh, seems like VCs in Silicon Valley see so much potential in uh, this kind of technology. And, Right now, if you're working on uh, your projects uh, uh, and uh, you have a potential to build Web, web 3.0, it might be an interesting uh, signal for uh, VCs to invest in you. Of course, it's uh, a kind of uh, overheated uh, topic, or maybe it's a hype, but uh, if you can really find a use case, uh, uh, solve someone's problem in there, and uh, it can be, um, scale well you have a potential to grow your company get good funding and build a unicorn hopefully um, and the other interesting thing that uh, this uh, industry is so welcoming and uh, this world uh, they will uh, have so demand so much demand to recreate of uh, what we have in our real world um, we don't know if it's a real by the way but <laughs> It's another topic to discuss. And by the way, watch uh, the video about metaverse uh, that we did uh, recently with one of the experts from Silicon Valley and the, the trends about metaverse, like uh, maybe two months ago in December on our channel, it's called metaverse opportunities for startups. Well, what I think uh, is that uh, uh, right now you may find those uh, startups and there are plenty that are working on uh, different types of metaverse and you can f find a way to incorporate your business services in there. And so you would have uh, your uh, Web2 uh, virtual startup with Web3 part of it. And yes, you're not fully in Web3, but you may start testing it and see the potential in there. Check it out because uh, this industry is just booming. It's crazy. and. Uh, um, if it's so much accepted by Silicon Valley VCs, maybe this is something you don't want to miss and try it out and, and uh, bring this uh, um, to your teams. Uh, maybe you can build out something and share with the world uh, the ideas and developments and discuss it in our channel. Maybe it can uh, bring you some, uh, to some other ideas and ways to apply something. Also, uh, if you want to find like-minded people to discuss this kind of topic and find ways of incorporating Web 3.0 into your startup, go on our global chats and you'll find those uh, like-minded people. They are happy to discuss it with you. Um, on this note, that's it. I think that was crazy interesting news that uh, we found for you. and. Uh, uh, every week is giving us so many interesting developments in startup world. I hope you, uh, the founders, gets, uh, get value out of uh, what we discussed. And uh, please share with me your ideas and recommendations of what exactly you want to see so we can find those hot topics for you and present it to you in the way you really want it. On this note, that's it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.